Libyan rebels say Misrata is free after Gaddafi's troops were ordered to withdraw from the country's third largest city. The move follows weeks of intense fighting. Libya's deputy foreign minister says they'll be replaced by armed tribesmen, but claims while soldiers have tried to keep civilian casualties to a minimum, tribes won't show the same restraint. Syrian forces have reportedly opened fire at pro-democracy protesters during a funeral in the Damascus suburb of Douma. Witnesses say at least three people were injured. Dozens of people died after being shot by troops during demonstrations yesterday. The protesters want an end to the regime, calling President Bashar al-Assad a traitor. Schools could face a series of walkouts from this summer over cuts to teachers' pensions packages. Delegates at the National Union of Teachers Conference in Harrogate will vote on whether to ballot for strike action. The union says two-thirds of its members will be more likely to leave the profession than work longer for their pension. The Deputy Prime Minister says people who want to keep the current voting system are either a reactionary or a fruitcake. Nick Clegg was talking during an event in Norwich to promote the Yes to AV campaign ahead of next month's referendum. Which of the political parties that are in favour of keeping first past the post? The Conservatives, the Communists and the BNP. Right, now what does that tell you? What does that tell you? You're either a reactionary or you're a fruitcake uh, if, you, if, you, if you want to keep the, the current system. Police have launched a murder investigation after two bodies were discovered at a house in Wolverhampton. An 80-year-old man and 77-year-old woman were found at an address on Woden Road in Park Village. The Royal Wedding Guest List and seating plan have been confirmed just days before Prince William and Kate's big day. As is tradition, there'll be a bride side and a groom side at Westminster Abbey, with the Queen and other members of the Royal Family sitting across the aisle from the Middleton family. Celebrities such as David Beckham, Guy Ritchie and Elton John will be further back. The Duchess of York, Sarah Ferguson, will not be there, although her daughters and ex-husband Prince Andrew will attend.